Picture this scene with me. Jesus enters the sacred temple in Jerusalem, but suddenly he begins brandishing a whip, flipping tables, scattering coins upon the floor. Perhaps you've heard the story of Jesus clearing the temple before, and perhaps this story causes you a little bit of unease. Does the picture of Jesus brandishing a whip align with your image of Jesus? Is Jesus even allowed to get angry? Well, thanks for joining us today for God With Us. I'm Erica Davies, the Director of Christian Education at St. Paul's Lutheran in Decatur, Illinois. And today I want to unpack with you this somewhat unsettling passage that we find in John chapter 2. I encourage you to grab a Bible, open up your Bible app, and follow along with me. At the beginning of this passage in John chapter 2, we find Jesus in the company of his mother, his brother, and his disciples as they are headed to Jerusalem for the celebration of the Passover. The Passover was the biggest celebration of the year for the Israelites, and Jesus would have likely attended these Passover celebrations every single year. The Passover was a celebration of God's deliverance for his people out of the hands of oppression and slavery in Egypt. So Passover was a really big deal. Jerusalem was already a very big city, but Passover would have likely brought thousands upon thousands of people into the holy city to offer sacrifices in remembrance of God's hand. So why is this important to the story of Jesus turning over tables and having a whip in his hand? Well, it is on the cusp of this holy celebration that Jesus makes his way to the temple to worship. And he's there to offer his reverence and his devotion to that same delivering God of Passover. Yet, as Jesus enters the temple, he doesn't find people in reverent worship, but in the business of selling animals. The temple had turned from a home into a marketplace. This is where we see Jesus begin to shift and change from that character we're used to. He begins to charge out the animals, flip the tables that were there, and he realizes that these people are working for man and not for God. Suddenly, the Jewish leaders burst into questioning Jesus. We see in verse 18, it says, What miraculous sign can you show us to prove your authority to do all of this? In other words, they say, who do you think you are, Jesus? But Jesus replies simply, destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. I can just picture the rumbles that were reverberating through the crowds. That holy temple took 46 years to build. Jesus thinks he can destroy it and rebuild it in three days. Well, as believers, we know that Jesus wasn't talking about the physical temple, but something far more significant. Jesus was talking about the resurrection of his body. Jesus was to become the new temple. This passage can be unsettling to our image of Jesus, but there's something very profound that can also be found in the story. Jesus is zealous for his heavenly father. Jesus refuses to allow any dishonoring of his father. And Jesus knew that a day was nearing when the temple of his own body would be betrayed, brutalized, and destroyed. Yet in his zealousness for God, Jesus promises that there will be resurrection. Jesus was becoming the new temple where we as sinners could go to meet with God. So this week, I want you to think about and maybe challenge your view of Jesus. Jesus isn't zealous for false and prideful religion, but for reverent and repentful hearts before the Lord. So ask yourself this week, how do you come before the Lord in the house of worship?